sitting on the water just down the road from Las Olas Beach, I'm taking you to the gated community of Harbor Beach here in sunny Fort Lauderdale. This Mediterranean luxury estate features six bedrooms, seven full and two half bathrooms. It has about 8,000 square feet under air, sitting on a 13,000 square foot lot. And you also have a 100 foot concrete dock with direct ocean access and no fixed bridges. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida, and this is what I do. I take you around, I show you the nicest homes for sale on the market, and this just happens to be one of them. So without further ado, let's just cut right into it. Starting with the entrance, the front of your home, you have two separate entrances, which I love. It's really good for like entertaining. If you have a party or people coming over, it's just a really cool layout. You have a one car garage on one side, and on my right side, you have a two car garage. And the whole facade of the entrance is just beautiful from the landscaping to the architecture. It's just, there's nothing missing. So follow me inside. You got this huge front door behind me. It doesn't go all the way to the top of the door, it ends about halfway up there, but look at the sides, it's grand, it's huge, you got these pillars in front, this chandelier above, it's just, it's the kind of entrance you expect when you're in a super luxury home in Fort Lauderdale. Let's get inside. So as soon as I walk in, I'm in love. You got these marble floors throughout. It's nice and cool. It's a double story. I can see up to the top. You have this wrought iron staircase going in. I can see the pool and the water in front of me, but let's just start with the rooms. On my right, you have an office. The cool thing about this office, this would actually also be a bedroom if you'd like an extra bedroom, but the way it is, it's an executive office. You got a place to sit, conduct some business. On my left, you even have a little patio if you want to open these doors up. But the way it is right now, you're just looking outside, fresh air, crack it open, who knows? Behind me, place to put all your awards. Because if you live here, you're successful. I know it. You got all your award station, everything you need to get the job well done. And how I said we had a one car garage on this side of the house, this is where you access it. Behind this hidden wall, you push in, and then behind this, behind this door, you have the one car garage. You can make it like a gym, a toy room, anything you want, but I think it's really cool I was in the executive office or possible room. Let's get back into the main part of the house. So when we walk into the main part, we're gonna skip the staircase for now. We're gonna stay on the first floor, come a little bit further down, and it takes us into the formal living room. Look at this. So nice, so welcoming. I, I just wanna sit here, have my family and friends over, have a great time, a fireplace on my right, and look at the mantle, it's beautiful. It's covered in this really sleek marble, and then you have these four huge floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking it all. Tropical life, South Florida. You know, you're in Fort Lauderdale on a sunny, beautiful day. You got a pool and the water right in front of you. It's amazing. And just off of this room, right over here, you have your movie theater. It's definitely a real, true movie theater. You have the speakers, the surround speakers throughout, projector on the wall. You don't have these uncomfortable chairs. You have these very soft, welcoming loungers. You just wanna put your feet up, watch your favorite film, and let me just give you a little taste of what it looks like. You come over here with your Creston technology. You click the power button, you click media, cable, and then boom, just like that. And then you get the shade over here, if you'll notice, comes down and it makes this room a true blackout room. So you get that full theater effect in the comfort of your own home, in this huge room. I just, what more could you ask for in a home movie theater? So as we leave the theater room, right in front of me, we're gonna pass the elevator. And of course, in a house like this, you're gonna have an elevator. So you just click the call button, Elevator's already here, and then boom. Coming down this hallway, this is gonna lead us to our half bathroom. It's set up really great for entertaining because right here you have the sink, and then in here you have the toilet. So if you want to just have someone wash their hands and someone use the bathroom, they can do that. It's 
perfect for entertaining. And it's like a nice silhouette here. I love the look of it. And then on my right, you have the first bedroom that we're gonna be taking a look at. Coming right in, as soon as I walk in, I'm just looking at this huge space. I can't believe, you know, all this square footage in here, almost 8,000 under, under air, and look how much square footage this bedroom has. It's massive. You have this king-size bed with king-size views, or queen-size views. But it's honestly, it's really just beautiful views. It even has its own sitting area right here. You can open these doors up, have a little patio. We'll save this for when we go outside completely, but the patio's here, the water, the pool area, floor to ceiling window so you can see everything. It's, it's honestly like being in a vacation home. If you can call this your home, you're a very lucky person. Over there, we have a closet system. Store your clothes, organize and keep it nice. And then your ensuite on my left. And this ensuite actually, acts as a cabana bathroom because right here you open it up, cabana access into the shower, sink, and bathroom. So really convenient if you're entertaining a lot. This is the perfect ensuite to have and it leads right into the guest bedroom. Let's make a right though, head out and cross over the living room. So we're gonna pass the elevator, the theater, formal living room. Let me just take one more look at it because it's so nice. Just beautiful. I just wanna sit here. I already told you, invite my friends over, the family. That's, that's all I'm I got a family on my mind when I look at this living room. And then we're gonna cross over from this room and it's gonna take us into the less formal dining room. So when we walk in, you got enough seats for six of your favorite and closest people overlooking, once again, these views. These views are everywhere. So just get used to me saying it because I'm gonna be talking about it a lot. And for the guests, TV on the wall. So you're here having breakfast, hanging out, and you got TV on that wall, a little entertainment in the background, put Jason Matouk's luxury home tour videos on, and a perfect background noise. And then on my left, right over here, we have a hidden lock wine room. So you come in, you got your Mila wine bottle holder. Got the best stuff in here. A little station over here, maybe if you want to make some coffee, sober everybody up. But the cool thing about this is we actually have a coffee machine in the kitchen, so we don't even need it if we didn't want to. Keep that, keep this whole thing in the wine room. And this thing is beautiful, I actually. Don't want to get fingerprints. Looks so nice. And then we're gonna walk into the kitchen. Off of these two rooms, it takes us right into the kitchen. We have, let's let's start with it's the sitting area. It's beautiful. You have this fully matching set of furniture facing the water. Because this is the entertainment. Everyone's sitting here. Yeah, they're talking, they're having a good time, but everyone's focused on this money shot right in front of me. It's overlooking the outdoor kitchen, pool, and the water view again, and the beautiful homes in the background. These homes are like art to look at. And then right behind me, I think you can see it. I don't have to just say unnecessary words. We got the kitchen. Got a little bar stool seating. Got three bar stools over here on my right. From the kitchen island, we have the Viking. You know how normally we see Sub-Zero everything? How about Viking everything? We, we went up a notch. Sub-Zero is here, Viking is here, if you know what I mean. So you got dual fridge and freezers. You got this whole top portion. This is your fridge right over here. And then just below, you got two freezers down there. And, and you know, it doesn't get much better than that. If you're a big fan, you like to cook, you like to keep all the food in the house, boom. Got it right there. You got your Viking microwave oven and warming tray. Mila coffee maker. The best of the best when it comes to coffee makers, I have to say. And then as we come into the main part of the kitchen, you actually have two more Viking water bottle coolers, drink coolers, whatever the case may be. Me personally, just to give you like a little insight into me, I would love to put some like milk, like almond milk, just little dairy yogurts. It's just a little cool access place to have it and then drinks at the bottom. It's just my preference. But I love this kitchen. I love the finish on the counter as well as this reflective finish on the cabinets for the kitchen. You have a huge Viking vent above of this one, two, three, four, five, six burner gas Viking stove with an oven down below and even a little mini oven on one side. So you have the oven over there, two more ovens down here, gas stove top, and then the water tap dispenser. For those of you who don't know, this dis dispenser actually dispenses water, so you don't have to carry a pot of water from the sink over to here. You just got it right there for your convenience. Coming further down, just more counter space. You can pop these windows open. They're screened in, get some fresh air, and then a huge farm-style sink on one side, looking at just a green shrubbery. So you just got this Beautiful nature in front of you while you're washing dishes or doing your thing over here. Got your dishwasher on one side. 
So now that we've finished most of the first floor, follow me. I wanna take you out to what I would say is one of the most enjoyable parts of living in South Florida is the outdoor entertaining space. So let's go take a look at that. So coming on out, you know, we live in South Florida. Mosquitoes are sometimes a problem. I haven't actually seen any since I've been here, but on the rare occasion that we do have mosquitoes, you got this. All you do is you come outside, click one button and boom. Now you are completely protected from mosquitoes, wildlife, anything really. You can have a nice, peaceful, quiet, unbothered evening. The other thing I'd like to mention about this is that if you look up, we have, what is this? an air condition, an air condition on that side. And there's a reason. You can actually control the AC out here. So it's a humid kind of Florida day. You just turn these guys on and now you have cold air AC blowing down on you. Not a fan, not a big noisy fan that gets spiders, but this cold, beautiful breeze of air, just cooling everyone down. And it's right off of where our outdoor kitchen is. So let me paint a picture for you while we're here. You got your friends and family. They've come over for a great dinner, but we're gonna do it outside today. You got the AC running, the table is set, and right here, you're gonna do all the cooking. So you got the full gas range vent above. You got your fridge on one side. You got an ice maker on the other side, and then coming across all of your dining space. Six seats out here, just like you had inside and then a couple places to just hang out and lounge. After you've done all the eating, you're like, oh God, I'm so tired. Boom, you sit right here. You just got a great view while you're finishing up and relaxing. Across this way, actually, this is really cool. You got this stepping stone that leads across these two lower level water areas. So you could put a, you know, a lounger in there or you just throw the kids in here. It's really safe and shallow, but regardless, coming across here, amazing. I love the landscaping out here, these pillars, the huge windows, you can see them clearly. This is the entrance to the cabana bath. This was the guest bedroom. And remember when we were over here, I said, we'll take a look at the patio outside. This is it. So you can open these up. You got a couple places to sit. This yard in front of you, you have pets and whatnot. You got a great yard right here. And they both lead down to that dock. Let me take you down to the dock so I can show you we're gonna park your boat. Because if you live in South Florida on the water, you better believe that you'll either have a boat or a jet ski. And don't tell me otherwise. There's no way to live without a boat or a jet ski. Coming down this way, we're gonna cross one, two, three, four loungers. Looking down the pool, looking back on the house. It's, just, it's, it's a masterpiece, it's art. It's, I love it. You got a second yard over here. We're gonna come down and look at the tile. I mean, look at all of this. The floor throughout. This place is covered in that beautiful floor and we got your dock out here. It doesn't really get much better than this. This is everything you can ask for in South Florida. But on that note, since we finished the first floor, let's head back inside so I can show you the rest of the first floor and head upstairs. Follow me. I know, I'm in love too. It's, it's beautiful. It's just inspiring and beautiful. But we still have to finish up this first part of the first floor. So let's come in a little bit further down. We're gonna pass the kitchen again. And then on my left, you have the second half bathroom. So you got one over there if you're partying in the living room and you have one over here for the guest party inside or at the in the kitchen and you also have the cabana so you have bathrooms everywhere for your guests but it's right in here and i love the lighting behind the mirror it's just exceptional on my right you have a, just an extra place for storage maybe even a pantry a huge walk-in pantry if you want to put snacks and stuff in there and it takes us in to the laundry room and then a guest bedroom on my left so over here you have another guest bedroom on the first floor has its own ensuite a window 
with that beautiful shrubbery in front of it again. And the space in here is just ideal. If you needed a staff room or if you just needed an extra room in the house, downstairs, buy the laundry room for, for whatever reason, this is the perfect one. It's got its own closets and it's also right next to the first, and that's why I said first, laundry room because there are two. This is the first one that you have, washer, dryer, all the space you need. And then on my left, you have access into the two car garage. Just off of this room, because we're gonna make a perfect circle, just off of this room on my right, it takes us into the formal dining room. I know you were missing it. So once you're done cooking, and it's time to eat with the family, you come over here, you sit the table, have a nice Thanksgiving, sit under these beautiful light fixtures. That mirror in the back is money. You know, everyone's just having a good time. It's a nice place to come, catch up, talk about life, and just enjoy a great meal. So from here, now that I showed you the entire first floor, believe it or not, there's a second floor. And I think it's time that we head up there. So why don't you follow me back into the living room and up those stairs. Let's go. Coming up, I mean, these stairs, aren't they beautiful? It's, it's like honestly coming up on a work of art every day. But standing up here, looking back, the grandeur of this front door, it's, it's awe-inspiring, to say the least. And then it takes us right into our beautiful second floor, into what could be a few different things. It could be a gym, as the way you see it now. It could be a bedroom. It could be an upstairs family room, which is kind of where I'm leaning towards because just like downstairs, you have these four beautiful, almost floor to ceiling windows overlooking it all. Your pool, the water, the glistening of the world outside, it's everything that you want. But regardless of what you make this room, they're gonna feel very lucky to be in here and it's a great place to work out, as you can see. Follow me out this way. We're gonna start with the guest bedrooms on this side, save the master for last. So on my left, it's gonna take us into one of the guest suites. And there's one thing I want you to keep in mind, the size. The size of all of these rooms are exceptional. Once again, king size bed. It's got a window overlooking it at all. And yes, you can open all of these windows, of course. And then on my right, you even have your own little balcony facing the front of the house. As you come a little bit further down, you have your ensuite right over here, but it's not just any ensuite. You have a, even a place for a vanity right before your walk-in closet. And this walk-in closet is huge. It goes all the way down. It's got shelving on both sides and a huge mirror. And then on my right, you have the true bathroom. This guest bedroom has a jacuzzi style tub on one side. It's got single sink on the other side and then a walk-in shower with windows everywhere and privacy on one side. It's Perfect, and this is just an ensuite. So keep that in mind. That's what. Just imagine what the master is going to look like. Follow me. Coming down this way. This is actually where your elevator takes you up. So you just click the call button, and it rings when it's here. Perfect. And then down on this side, this is going to be one of the nicer suites on the second story. When you walk in, the first thing you're greeted with is these huge windows. Okay, like when I keep saying huge, look at the size of the window. Look at the size of these windows. You got two chairs, so you're just facing out, looking at all the entertainment. This is a place where you wake up and you spend a good 10, 15 minutes right here. Maybe sit down and do your affirmations right here. And then just take a look at how cozy this bed looks. You have a king-sized bed. They're all king size apparently, and it's overlooking it all. It's even got, just like in the other room, balcony on this side. So you pop these guys open, you're overlooking heaven. Just the water and a beautiful South Florida day. It doesn't get much better than this, honestly. This is what you expect when you pay this kind of money in South Florida, you get the best. And then just off of where you're gonna be sleeping every night, being the happiest guy in the world, well, your guests will be. You have another ensuite. And just like the other one, it's got room for everything. Here is a perfect place for vanity. You're a walk-in closet on one side and then it takes you right into your bathroom. And just like the other one, how about this? Another tub, another walk-in shower, and it's pretty much the exact same layout. So every guest, their bedrooms are, there's no fighting is what I'm trying to say. Everyone's happy, everyone's got everything they need. There's no complaints. And that's what you want when people spend the night, or your kids. All right, so follow me. 
I'm gonna pass again where the gym room was. It's gonna take us a little further down. Don't look, no peeking, no peeking. We have one more yes suite right here. All right. And you know what? Do I have to even talk? It's got it all, man. It's got that walk in closet, it's got the huge bed with its own balcony again and this ensuite. This ensuite though, I will say it has different finishes, but it's, I mean, come, come on, look at this. Boom. You got a little bit different finishes. I just want to go in there and take a really quiet shower. On the left, adjacent to this room, we have your second laundry room. I think it's right above the other one, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah. I mean, you got a full upstairs laundry room, so no one has to go up and down the stairs and the elevator. Who wants to do that? You just you do your laundry up here. And one feature, I mean, everything is nice and cool. I mean, you got the Mila, you know, washer dryer. There's one thing I want to point out. By show of hands, how many of you guys have dogs? I know I do. But when you do, there's nothing worse than washing them in a bathtub. You don't have to. This is a dog washing station. You got the little hose, the water, a little drain, everything, a little rim for them. I mean, you got the happiest dog in the world just cleaning it up right in your washroom. Perfect, it's perfect. But now I've kept you waiting long enough. Why don't you follow me? Top 10, top five master bedrooms that we've ever seen. But before we get in there, I gotta put an ad. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put an ad right here. I'll see you in five seconds. See, I waited for you. Okay, come on in. Boom. So for some reason, you've never been to a room and you just have a really good feeling? This is one of those rooms. The energy in here is perfect. I just feel so welcoming, so warm, and I kind of want to, I kind of want to save the room for last. So come, come in a little further, follow me. We're going to start with the bathroom and closets. On my right, you have his bathroom. So his and hers are completely separated. I know a lot of couples at home are going to really appreciate that, but look, floor to ceiling, wrap around in this amazing marble finish. He's got a walk-in shower. He's got a trifecta of mirrors. This is great for trying on your fit. You lean forward, you can see it all. I just, you can see what's clean, looks good. And then on my left, you have his closet. It's a full walk-in closet, all the space in the world. And if you thought this closet was big, I mean, this is bigger than my closet, of course, but if you thought this closet was big, let me show you her closet. Come down a little further, and right across from her bathroom, you have the closet. She has her own vanity right before, beautiful, and then boom, look at this. Closet, gym, I don't, I don't know, this thing is huge, this, this is massive got all the storage you're gonna need and then in each one you know you have like the drawers that come out with the organizers so I'll show you an example in here pop these open organizers it's it's just they thought of everything soft closed doors it's perfect and then across from this I think you can guess what it is it's gonna be her master bathroom and this you thought that one was covered in floor to ceiling marble. Mm, this one's a little different. This one's literally covered from floor to ceiling in the same marble. Got her own sink and there's only one because this is for her or him or whoever gets this bathroom. On that side, you actually have a hairdressing station. That's right, you can get your hair done in the comfort of your own home. Two windows looking at this beautiful blue sky and the shrubbery. These or towel warmers, you throw your towel in here, you get out of the shower, you're toasty warm. You know when you put on a shirt from the dryer and it feels like a hug? Got that for your towels. Behind me, the, the Mac Daddy of all the tubs in this house, right here, a big, huge window, and yes, there are shades if you want some privacy, but privacy from who? Your friends and family? You got all the privacy in the world right here. And then a huge, open style shower, and look at that shower head. I don't think I've ever seen a shower head like that before, but I know it gives some good showers. Now, follow me back into the main part of the bedroom. I wanna show you where you would be sleeping every night. And they call this master for a reason. You're the ma you are the master, you are the king of the castle, the queen of the castle. This is where you're gonna reside every night. A couple seats here to enjoy the show. Windows are excellent. There are automatic shades in this room as well. So at night you click one button, the shades come down and then boom, look how comfortable, soft, welcoming this bed is. And then on my left, you actually have a private balcony. Let me take you out there. It's the least I can do. Stepping on out. 
Just enough. You only need two. You and them. Or just you by yourself. No one's judging. It's got it all. It's got everything you need. The water, close to the beach. So on that note, on that note, I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If you'd like to see more tours just like this one, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Helps me out. I have a goal. I wanna to get to 100K. Hopefully by the time you watch this video, I'll be at 100K. If not, that's no big deal. We're working hard. Got more videos coming up. If you like the music, if you like anything about this video, the equipment that we use, if you have any questions at all, it'll all be in the description below, as well as the property information and who you can contact if you're interested. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget, I love you, care about you, and I'll do anything for you. I'll see you at the next one.